And here we are for another episode, Jake, of America's number one podcast. Don't look that big, up. Big, uh, big episode. This, I think we say that all the time, but this time- This is a big one. We've been lying most of the time. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. We're actually doing something a little bit different. We've got two special guests on this one. Crazy. We've got Natalie Morales, who is excellent in, in my new movie, Self-Reliance, which is coming out January 12th on Hulu. It's a movie I wrote, I directed, and I starred in, and we're going to have a lot of the cast come on. She was the first one who came on, and she just crushed so it. Good. So, so good. So good. And so good in the movie, and kind of good with everything she does. And it's her call is incredible. And I can then tell we you're good. frustrated by that. Me? Yeah. No, I'm benefiting. I'm using her. I'm squeezing her dry uh, like All right, all right. Great. Keep going. Keep I, put going. I put her in the movie. I put her in the podcast. Jake, I take. I take. Jake, I take. Jake. Jake. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Te- I just use her talent and I say, well, together. I'm the director. I'm Jake, the director. Jake, yeah. Jake, self-reliance. Hulu. Come on. The next person we have on is a dear old friend, Max E. Greenfield, a.k.a. Schmidt, is back on the pod. It's his second call from yeah. the day he did it. He's, as always, incredibly funny, and we've got a great call on that. The cast is back together again. Here we are, the, and the chemistry doesn't miss a beat. It's just like we're back when we were shooting. <laughs> so we've got a killer show. We appreciate all the support. Uh, keep listening. Keep sharing. Review. Keep, keep commenting. Sharing. Keep rating. Keep all the things that help us out. Follow us on uh, uh, the Instagram. You know where it is. That's Jake's way of saying he doesn't know where it is. <laughs> Follow us on the TikTok. You know where it is. Again, translation, I don't know the handle. And you can get the, the merch at you know where it is. That's, uh, again, we really should be giving you specifics, but Jake has none, and I can't really help him too much. So without further ado. Hey, how's it going? Hey. How are you, man? Um, welcome to We're Here to Help. We're very excited because you're not only on with Jake and Gareth, the regular host, but we have a, a guest on today's show. Max Greenfield is going to pitch in and um, and help with whatever your problem is. So can we start? Can we just get your name real quick? Sure. Uh, it's Dylan. Dylan. Okay. And where are you calling from, Dylan? Before we get into it, Dylan, I just want to say shout out to our sponsor, Kitty Litter Potty Training. <laughs> he, Dylan, Very he good. means city. He means city kitty, but I'm sure you already know that city kitty. Of course, of course, it's a household name. Uh, Dylan, how old are you? Uh, 32. 32. You have any cats? I do. I have two cats actually. So they're that going is to the a, litter. They're relevant. using your toilet. Gareth, do you want Jake and I to hang up? No, no, no. You guys can stay there. <laughs> well, I'll I'll give you a signal when it's time to tag in. Uh, where? What city are you in, Dylan? Omaha, Nebraska. All right. And why don't you tell us what? the three great minds you have access to today can help you with. All right. So obviously a first time father going to be here in February. And the you dilemma say first is time what father? facial hair. Yeah. And he said, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're about that. You're about to have a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. Way Thank you very much. Um, times. <laughs> Two cats and a baby. Woo. It's a big stuff. You know, that's uh, sort of a lateral move. You say two cats to a baby is a lateral move. Ask Gareth. <laughs> Gareth has one cat, a cat tattoo, and no babies. Jake, I was asked a question, and absolutely, it's lateral, Max. Okay, so you're about to be a dad, Max, something the three of us can all relate to as uh, fathers. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, so keep going. What's the issue? So the dilemma is, what facial hair should I lock in for this next chapter of my life? As a dad, your facial hair is your your calling card. Am I right? Well, I think it's part of your calling card. I think being a good father is probably more so than your (laughs) face. Facial hair, wouldn't you agree with that, Dylan? Sure. The sure, hair's sure, most sure. of the lifting. Let's be so, frank. All right, so hold on. Your question is, what facial hair should you have when your baby's first born for like the first round of baby photos? Just in, in life in general. So like my dad okay. has had the same mustache my whole life. He's Respect. had the Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan mm. oh. handlebar mustache. Your yes. dad's goes down past the lips? Oh, yeah. All the Much way to respect. The Sometimes it's crept onto the neck. Dylan, what do you rock on your face? I've gone a full beard for most most of my yeah my days as a man here. I've done mustache. I've okay. done, but well, mostly I've done beard. And uh, I've been told I can pull a mustache off. But I mean, Max, with you here as well, I know you've also rocked a mustache quite well. Thank you. 
Jake's opposed to graying the beard. I'm not opposed to it. I just, Max, when I saw that photo on Instagram, it made me feel old. <laughs> then you called me a bully publicly. <laughs> is, that fair? is that fair to say, Max? I uh, said seeing gray hair, maybe shaved, because seeing gray hair in your facial hair made me individually feel old because I'm older than you. You said I'm reporting you to bullying, and I think you did report me. <laughs> You're eight <laughs> months older than me. <laughs> you say that like, now listen, man, I've got 12 years on you. I'm in my 60s. <laughs> well, I sent you a text that you seem 37 and I seem 55 and you iced me out and it hurt my feelings. Dylan, uh, where are we yeah, on this yeah. one? So you right now have a beard. You're about to have a baby. Is it a boy or a girl? It's going to be a boy. So, boy. you know. What, what, what are you going with with the name? That is up in the air at the moment. Max is on the list, I will say. Max mm. is on the list. Okay. Max is cool because it's easy to spell. That's right. It's What's true. your partner's name? Stephanie. Stephanie, what does she think? She prefers the beard. She's seen me with no facial hair one time, and she said, get out of my apartment. Well, you're moving into fatherhood now, though. Yeah, so but it's a big it job. It could be a little different. What, uh, what's, can I just get some stats on you? What's the size and weight we're, we're dealing with? Six foot, about 190 or so. I wonder why his size and weight matters with facial hair, Gareth. Well, I mean, now I'm that I hear it, it's a, it's a hot. He sounds like he's got a hot look going on already. So I don't want to, you know, squander. Oh, it with you're like you're seeing if goat, he was like, like a gelled. I got you. Yeah, I was seeing if we could get away with a gelled up goatee, yeah, kind yeah, of a yeah, spiked tee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. But, yeah, you could stab the kid at that point. I, baby's heads are soft, right? You guys, Jake, you're a dad, right? Yeah, baby's heads are very soft. Uh, exactly. Max, what's your kind of take on facial hair and fatherhood? You got any thoughts on that? I've grown the beard out a couple of times, but then it gets itchy. And I don't like to be itchy and I don't like to have my hands in my face as much as I do when I have the beard and it gets long. Mm. So then I end up shaving it and then I'll probably end up with a mustache for a while. Yeah. And then at some point, somebody will make a comment and I'll get self-conscious and then I'll, I'll shave that. You mean like a bully? Like someone like, I don't know, Jake might bully you online <laughs> and then you got to make a change? Yeah. And then you'll report your friend to Instagram for bullying? If I knew how to actually do that. <laughs> okay, that's fair. But I think I just, you know, commented and hopefully you'll be authority. Like, they'll, they'll take care of you. I'll say this about the facial hair. Sure. Your father rocked a Hulk Hogan stash. So, so all your childhood photos, there's that enormous mustache on your dad's oh, yeah. face. Correct. And how did that make you feel when you look at those photos? Does he feel more to you like... That's the idea of fatherhood. Is that a cool look in your eyes? Or do you look back and go, it'd be cooler if he didn't have that mustache in these photos? You know what? I've always been pro. I've been for it. I've always yeah. thought he looked, that's, that's, a, that's a dad stash. I mean, it's obviously, it's intense. It can't it's be intense. intense but, and I'm uh, going to tell you what, they, your first kid, <laughs> the first six months, there's going to be more yeah. photos than you've ever been in in your entire life. Everybody's <laughs> okay. going to be snapping pics. You're going to be holding that baby. People are going to be taking photos. Your facial hair in this moment matters. And I, yeah. and I, I think it's a good question. And I think it should be a, a choice. And I'm going to lead out sure. personally with, I think you should copy your dad as a shout out to dad. <laughs> I think you should forget the little beard. Who cares? Little beards are boring. <laughs> Hipster beards are sure, boring. Sure. Uh, a little thin mustache. No disrespect, Max, but a lot of times when you'll shave, you won't go thick. You'll go a little <laughs> bit of hair on your upper lip, but I've never seen you go like full Tom Selleck. Is that true, Greenfield? You know, it's it's hard. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I in the pandemic, you had a, a nice one. Yeah, pandemic, I let her, I let her rock. I remember we did something, and you were wearing a Hawaiian shirt and like a Yankees hat, and had a full <laughs> mustache. We were doing some That's zoom full Selleck. Sure. Yes, and it looked good. Gareth, you used to have a mustache. I've had many a mustache. I love a mustache. Jose didn't like it. made him shave. Yeah, a lot of Jose's hairs got caught in it. I didn't know where he ended and I began. It got confusing. <laughs> so I'm going to go with mine. I'm going to say, if you're going to do something and you want to do something bold, actually go mm. full Hulk Hogan and do it right. <laughs> Just keep it in the family is what you're saying. I would yeah. actually do your father's mustache. <laughs> and I would start growing it now. When's the baby being born again? How many months? Uh, February 1st is the due date. So oh, you have plenty time. of time. Yeah, so time. I, I, I would not we shave your upper lip 
until that baby comes, but I wouldn't have a beard until the last second. Don't do it like it's a gimmick. Sure, sure. Fucking rock the mustache starting Halloween. Okay, so by the time okay. February comes, well, maybe, you're a guy with a, a Hulk Hogan stash. Go ahead, Gar. Maybe we do a Hulk Hogan Halloween costume. That's a good way to sort Ooh. of foam the runway into it for the rest of uh, fatherhood. And then test the water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Water. I think one of the most important things about parenting is consistency. So whatever you do, just lock it in and keep that look for as long as you can. I think that makes sense. It's like a long haul. And if you've had beard for so long, I'd say keep the beard because Jake has a beard 99% of the time, but he had to sure. keep a weird, he had to keep like an in-between beard on New Girl Forever. And there were times where whoever was shaving him or if he shaved himself, I'm not really sure what happened, but he would go almost all the way off with the beard. You go too low. It's true. It looks, it looks gross. It looks gross. It looks like a weird. I just, I just, uh, I had a beard and I shaved it all the way down only because I had long hair for a while because of the minx. And then, you know, we're on strike so I could get a short haircut. And with sure. a short haircut and a full beard, I looked uglier than I've ever looked in my whole life. Uh, <laughs> it was, I don't know if you ever have it when you get a glimpse of yourself. And look, I'm not in the best shape these days. So I was shirtless in the mirror with a bad haircut. It was <laughs> shocking. It was the uh -huh. first time I saw myself and thought like, who is that human? I don't like the way that thing looks. Jake is not a self-conscious guy when it comes to like. <laughs> no, it's honest. Looks, but sure. there are moments where I could see he would shave to, it would go too close in the yeah. new. The new oh, I hated it. So bum. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna stick with it, Dylan. You gotta commit. I think Max is right. What you don't want to do in the first like year or two of fatherhood is your like sons getting to know you is change your look. Be bold, man. I mean, don't don't just do a little beard. You'll regret it. I think you called into this because you want to make a bold choice. Am I right on that or am I <laughs> off? You're not wrong. You know what? You're not wrong. Yeah. And you want to pull partly, the trigger. You want to pull the trigger and you want to be able to convince Stephanie that it's the right move to rock a humongous Hulk Hogan mustache when your yes. child is born. <laughs> I think we're all kind of saying the same thing. I do too. Just mm. go with it mm. and you'll figure it out. But I do have, if you want, if you want the must the Hulk Hogan mustache to seem like the right idea, I do have a bad mm. pitch for you if you want to hear okay. that. I love it. I, of course, okay. I would love that. Have you ever that. heard of Horace Greeley? Horace Greeley? I don't know if I have. I don't know Not if many I have. have. Uh, Horace Greeley was a representative, uh, a, a United States representative in the 1800s. I don't know what the hell he did, but his legacy to me is that he tried to go neck only. <laughs> and he's the only guy I've ever seen in history who tried to go only neck hair. Only And neck. someone's got to bring it back. I don't what know if you're look. the chosen what one. What a look. If somebody I, can pull that off. One. Max, I can see you're thinking about something. What do you got? That's yeah, a terrible idea. I think that would look bad on anybody. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I agree know. with Max 100%. I think it's a dog shit idea. I think that's why it stopped with Horace Greeley in the 1800s. Let me just say, you're in Omaha. That could, You guys sure. could get some cold winners. I'm talking we about do. your it's scarf true. budget is now, you don't need it. That's going all the way to the kid. So it's just a Homegrown. Pitch. Homegrown. All right, so Dylan, here's where we're at. I, I'm saying rock your dad's mustache. I'm going full home. The legacy. The legacy. Gareth is saying only the neck. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Max is saying stay consistent with whatever you choose. Just mm -hmm. lock into something and don't change. Uh, we like to end right. it by asking what you think you're going to do. I like the idea of the soft lead into Halloween, perhaps costume mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan. Yep. See, test the water, see how yep. life is like with that that power on my face and just see what I get. And if I get too too many bad, you know, bad reviews in. That makes sense. Then you could mustache. just trim, but then you would just trim the Hogan and you would go full sure. mustache for the birth of your son. Tom Selleck mustache. Start growing the neck out a little too, just to have it as a plan B. <laughs> hey, Dylan, will you do us a favor? Sure. When your son is born, will you take a photo of what you look like and send it to the show? Of course. I would love to do that. Thank you for the call, buddy. Yeah, thank Thanks, you, guys. Dad. Thank you. Hi. Hey, how are you? 
I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty great. I, it's a real special one today. You've got Jake Johnson, Gareth Reynolds, and the woman who plays my longtime love in the new movie Self Reliance, Natalie Morales. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Courtney. Courtney, where are you calling from? Uh, Madison, Alabama. Who Alabama. Oh. Okay. I didn't know there was a Madison, Alabama. I didn't either. Just huh. thinking the same thing. Yeah. I like that Jake and Gareth are both already taking notes. Well, I, I started as a note guy just recently. The Garf man started being a note guy, but I think his is just chicken scribble. I'm playing hangman, but yeah. it's really fun. And he I've almost have, got it. He doesn't have to do notes. I do notes because I have a true dog shit brain and I forget what's happening. I'm like one of those waiters you're terrified of who's like, yep, got it. And you're like, the, you don't got it. You don't got that, it. That's by too the way, many Natalie, orders. hate that waiter. I hate that. that waiter too. I was I was a waiter and I was never that waiter. But Same I think I Courtney, I think I got it. I think I got yeah. Courtney from Madison, Alabama so far. I think I got that. I'll yeah. tell you Pretty what, good. Natalie, I was that I wasn't that waiter. I'd write it down and still fuck it up. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so Courtney, you are Courtney, you're from Madison, Alabama. What age are you around? Can you just give us a zone? I'm thirty five. I don't mind being specific. At a girl. Now what's the uh call about? What can we help you with today? Sure. So I was hoping you guys could help me out. Um, it was with my most embarrassing moment. Hmm. I had a friend a few years ago whose mother passed away. She's a family friend, and she was also our photographer, and she had taken some family pictures for us, and she was over at our house because part of her process is that she sees where the photos are going to be so she can install them for you. Interesting. She was over at our house, and she was telling me about how she had just come back from her mom's memorial, and um, she and her brother, that her mom was cremated, and she and her brother split the ashes, and... what? Oh, sorry, I just want to clarify. You said split the ashes? Split the ashes, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah. I, I got to say, as somebody who's lost a parent, this happens, this happens. Yeah, I thought for a second she said that they flipped the ashes, and I was like, I don't, I'm not aware of that lingo. But <laughs> thank you for clarifying that it's split. I just would like to preface... I don't think anyone really knows what to say when someone's close family member passes away. So I it's do an interesting think setup. Your, it is. Your, your brain goes a little bit blank. So she's telling me this, and it, I was like, well, so now you guys don't know which party your parents you have. I was like, what if you have the butthole? Oh. I was wait, just yeah. thinking like, the same wait, thing, Courtney. Oh I was God. when Jake said that I was like, I would not want to have, you know, my dad's uh, penis if that was. Oh my like, God. what if you just get like a penis no, Natalie. and a couple ears? Natalie, I, like, Natalie this right. is the no. This I literally not, thought the same thing, Courtney. You and I are simpatico. I would probably you have would have said would this. you would have said it too? Wow. It okay. depends on how close I was. I would have said that to like my best friend or to Jake, maybe. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. You would say. Man, I'm, what if I have my dad's butthole? This is what would happen. This you would say, terrible. yeah, my, my brother and I split it. And I would pause and I'd go. Oh. <laughs> and then I'd say it. Man. Like I would Incredible. try not yeah. to. And then I wouldn't be able to not say it. <laughs> this is a turn. So, Courtney, you said to your friend about the ashes. Yeah. Can you tell us what you specifically said when she said she has half? How I remember it is being like, wow, you, you know, so you don't, you don't know which half you have. What if you have your mom's butthole? <laughs> and her, her face just kind of, it just kind of went blank. And I, I'm sure mine did too. And she just kind of left. I mean, we're just like, okay, just bye, left. talk to you later. Oh, wow. Of yeah, course she left. Uh, I'm with the photographer here. <laughs> Okay, I, ha I have a couple follow-up questions, if anybody Great. doesn't mind. Jump yeah, in. go. Uh, how long ago was this, Courtney? This is just a few years ago. Oh, have you never talked since? <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's the other thing. We, we do talk. So we go to church together. I see her most Sundays, and we have mutual friends. Okay. All my friends know about this. They all know it's my most embarrassing moment. We've talked about it multiple times. I have a friend that was in grief share with this girl and she said, Courtney, every time she would tell her story, all I could think about was that you asked yes. her if she had her mom's butthole. 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say yeah. she would share that someone <laughs> asked her if she had a yeah. butthole. She'd be like, it was really no, tough, but then it got better. a lot tougher. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, Courtney, do you ever regret not calling it an ash hole? Oh. Uh, hey, guys, I, thank I you guys so I much do. for the call, Natalie. Appreciate we're it. See Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I got to go. I'm out of uh, here. Natalie, you jumped on like this is normal. I don't find this normal at all. I mean, that's uh, my brain works like Courtney's okay. brain work. My 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 other follow up yeah. question was Courtney, did you say it? the The tone in which you said it was it Good like question. this is a a light funny joke to make you feel better in this dark moment, or were you genuinely curious? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. No, it was a, definitely I would say light. Then I think you have nothing to be embarrassed about. I think it was mm, a kind know. thing that you did. I'm not and with you on that. Kind. You're not, not with that. me on that? No, no. <laughs> I no. think it's I think it was a kind gesture. Okay, I'll tell you why I disagree. Courtney, has she ever brought it up to you? That, that was another question. <laughs> yeah. Because no. if she you're saying no. she's thinking no. about it, so never. Okay. She's never she's never been like, oh man, that was good. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can say, Hey, remember that time that I mm. said that? After your, because it, it's been a few years, so I feel like it's a little less raw now. Yeah, and you can ask her, like, was that helpful? Natalie, can you say that? Can you be Courtney and Gareth? Sure. Can you try to be the girl or the sure. woman? Okay, and just okay. honestly um, see what happens. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give her a fake name so as to not embarrass her, because I don't want to ask yeah. you what her name is, Courtney. So if I'm like, um, hey, um, Luella. Wasn't church great like today? It was really so, good. It was Such a really a nice sermon. service. Um, yeah, I have, great a service. I have a question for you. Okay. And it's a sure. little embarrassing for me. One of my most embarrassing moments is that after your mom died, I think I was trying to cheer you up by asking if when you split her ashes, if you ended up with her asshole. And I realized that that may have not been funny at that moment, but I wonder if it brought you any kind of solace or if it was terrible. And if it was terrible, I do apologize. No, it was a really awkward. It yeah. was really awkward. Um, just because, it, I mean, I had just gotten them and I had never thought about well, that. Well, to be and fair, an asshole's just another part of a body. So it's a fair question, but. You're going down a yeah, weird road here, now. Yeah, I am. I'm defending it. myself and I should <laughs> Yeah, that's not what this moment feels like it should be about. <laughs> right, to right, me. right. Don't do that, Courtney. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. You said, okay, I'm so sorry. I just want you to know that it came from a place of trying to like that's really nice bring to you hear. a smile, but it's it doesn't mean that it was the right thing to say. And I'm, that's really nice I'm to sorry hear. for that. So that's pretty solid at the end. Courtney, what is your actual question today? Is it <laughs> what do you do now? Yes. Do I just uh for lack of a better word, bury it, or do Jesus I- Jesus Christ, Courtney. Courtney, you are funny. I <laughs> Courtney, you. you're a savage. <laughs> or, or keep going, do you do you bury it or, or what? Or do I apologize? I think you have the conversation and see if you need to apologize. Well, hi, so Maybe what you Maybe preemptively apologize. But Natalie, what you just did, and the reason I got to her question was a heck of a pitch. And yeah, the way good. you did it, apart from defending that the asshole is somehow beautiful and part <laughs> yes. of the body, I wouldn't go down that alley. Uh, but the road that you said, bring it up and clarify why you did it. I think there's something in that that's right. Garf, what, what are you yeah. feeling here? I do think the reopening, the um, you think bringing you it would? up. I would, yeah. I think of the way that Natalie did it. I would. I I think oh. your group setting is like it's not like the joint circle of bringing up the asshole. I feel like that's <laughs> that makes it feel like, hey, how good is this bit? Hey, I look at yeah, do. look at this circle we're in. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of what? Hey, look at this. <laughs> we're asshole. standing in the butt hole. Speaking of which, isn't that what you scattered? <laughs> um. So I think yeah, I think you go that route. I, I think know. you just find a way. The only other way I could think to bring it up would did she take those pictures for you in the long run? Oh yeah, they're hanging in my house. Yeah. Is there any one of those of your mother? No. No. Okay. Mm. That's yeah, gonna be my only. Is, but where were you going on that one? Then you, you can have a moment like bye. Not gonna be here forever. Someday I'll get the butthole. You know what I mean? You could kind of. So you're go going there. back to the bring up the butthole. I said I like Natalie's <laughs> pitch. I was just trying to find a way to kind of grease the butthole wheels a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, just but kinda... I think that's repitching the joke. It is. It as is. you said, it it's is. still repitching the joke. I, you my can't moment the was joke. somber. My moment was somber. You know, a somber moment where you go, Even she's worse. not going to be around forever. Be... I might get her asshole. The mortality of one's mother is something I always struggle with. Someday I'll probably scatter her butthole. You know, something <laughs> like Gareth. The joke, Gareth. Gareth, are you are you pitching 
to say the butthole sincerely? Yes. Is that what you're honestly? Ooh. Yes. Pitching? I could thread That's that needle. Wild. I could thread Don't that needle. Don't do that, Courtney. Garf, will you be Courtney? Natalie, will you be Luella? Gareth, will you well, try this? Is this is going to be this no, is going to be terrible, but I will I'll commit to it. Let's see if you can do it for real. Let's see if we can do it for real. So we're looking at a picture of my mother on the wall, the picture that you took. Sure, let's okay. pretend it's that cat behind you that won't stop staring at me. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, gosh, I was so happy with how these pictures came out that you took. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, thank you. I Thank you. I, I you That know. one of my mother just, I don't know, is my favorite for some reason. She's beautiful. I think it's just the way that you just, you know, you you never know when... When they're gonna leave you, your parents. They raise oh, you and then... I know that, yeah. <laughs> Not sad to think Garib. that someday stop Jake. Sad to think that someday I might they be went. spreading her butthole ashes all over the place. <laughs> like what you I said sure? to you. I sure think about that a lot. Well, it's one of my most embarrassing moments and I felt really bad about how that kinda oh. came out that day and I just so, want you to know I think about so it a lot. You did and it your again. friendship means a lot. <laughs> No, no, I didn't do it again. No, you I think if did, you, you stop, mute, mute Jake, stop. No, I think that it was, it's my way of just sort of saying my bad and just. I understand. You do? I got you something. Lu Wait, Luella. Hold you on, understand? I got her something. Okay. I got you something. It's a bottle of wine. You're my what? best friend. Oh, stop I'm saying. not really your best friend. <laughs> You're very Courtney. close to me though. Okay. I just go to church with You're you and we haven't really talked since you said that awful thing. <laughs> This oh, is a really I good just Shiraz. I see you across the aisle at church, and I'm like, hello. Bring it in for a hug, sister. No, I give you peace I love at you. church because it's mandatory, not I love because you. I like you. I think it's pretty good. There was a nice segue in there. but Yeah, I think the key is that you have to say it is your most embarrassing moment. That's heartwarming. That's endearing. Agreed. I think mm -hmm. you have to say that in when you bring it up, and, and I think that's your I in. Agree. Courtney, where's your instinct? Where are you at here? <laughs> the, the floor is yours. I feel like I'm a bit more confused, but I think I would just That's we need you. kind of, yeah, yeah. I think I would mm, just maybe stung. bring it up kind of funny, although oh, funny okay. didn't play well last time. Just like, uh. like what you guys were saying, like, I, I have to tell you what my most embarrassing moment is and it involves you. Yes. And tell her that I am sorry. We got the hunk who popped on the zoom. Kevin, what's up here? Hi, Courtney. It's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. How are you feeling? You feel like you got enough warm ups in? I think I've got some warm ups and some support, some supportive friends here. You ready? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Okay. We're doing this now? <laughs> this is high stakes. It's Wait, just got high stakes. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Let's. Kevin, okay. hold on. The okay. real woman's coming on? She's in the waiting room. <gasps> Courtney, okay. you knew about this, yeah? Yes. Yeah, With okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butthole lady? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm sweating, but I have to tell you something. Before we do it, Courtney, just go like, I know this is a weird place to bring it up on a podcast that a lot of people are going to hear, but that's just to let you know that, like, that's how much I care about you, that I'm willing to embarrass myself again oh, because man. I want to set this straight. Say something like that. And avoid anything I pitched. Yes, but also, Courtney. Yeah, I would I would not say the fucking word butthole because yes, and, and Kevin, maybe mute me if I laugh. We cannot laugh at this. No, <laughs> this, is, this, this is, is the highest stakes. This Holy is shit. Kevin. Yeah. Man. Also, maybe this is not something that we know. I bet Kevin knows. Maybe Courtney knows. Do we know if she knows why she's on? No. No idea. Jesus Christ. No. All right, we got to okay. gamble. So, Courtney, okay, okay. Courtney, the floor right. is going to be yours. I'm going to set us up a little bit Ugh. with her. Yes. Uh, I Kevin, can they see us? No. Nope. No. Okay, great. Thank you. No. Good. I really, really <laughs> recommend you start with an ap apology, sincerity, and talk about what she means to you and how this is your embarrassing moment. This changes advice on this show dramatically. Wait, you know, maybe do Gareth. I hey, hope come I on. Get the I already said you walk away wine? from anything I said. You walk away from anything I said. All right, let's bring her on. All right, I'm oh, an idiot. We're not talking. Yeah, we're muting. Here no, we go. we're talking. Oh, God. We're here, Big Mama. We're here. Hello? Hello? Hi. Am I Hi. Big Mama? <laughs> no, Natalie Morales is Big Mama, but I'm you big can mama. be Big Mama if you want. Oh, hey, you're, okay. you're on with... You're on with Jake Johnson, Gareth Reynolds, Big Mama, Natalie Morales. And can we get your name, please? Jamie. J 
Jamie, uh, Jamie, Hi, I Jamie. just want to say this. Thank okay. you for joining our podcast. Your friend Courtney uh, emailed us because there's something that she's really embarrassed by that involves you. Uh, and she cares about you a oh, lot. Lord. And here, here we are. Courtney, the floor is yours. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> hey, so, Courtney. <laughs> so I got to get something off my chest. It involves my most embarrassing moment a few years ago when you were talking about when your um mom passed away and you guys split the ashes i don't know if you remember this at all and and we split the, what? Con- the ashes and oh yeah yeah yeah. Told, mm-hmm. and, yeah and i my response was i hope you don't have the butthole <laughs> and that I don't has remember that. I was apparently me. very traumatized oh. by that. Oh. Wait, Jamie, you do not remember. I don't. I don't remember. I don't. This remember. is a big win. Remember. That's what I thought <laughs> might happen. Wow. So, Jamie, let us walk you through what's happening here. Courtney has been embarrassed about this for a <laughs> long time, and she has felt shame. And she wanted to <laughs> apologize, and you don't even remember. Ugh. And she's no. laughing now, which is a good sign. Yes. <laughs> yes, I yeah, you, I am married to a you. very sarcastic man, so um, that is probably not the worst thing I've I've heard. And that honestly <laughs> sounds a lot like Courtney to me, which is why I love her. So. Oh. That's why we you all gotta, we've all grown to love Courtney. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got to love oh, good. that life. Oh. Courtney, how do you feel? <laughs> You know, I do feel a lot of weight gone, but then I also feel like... Like your joke didn't land? <laughs> you also feel like what? Like I could have just not <laughs> said anything. Mm. Well, You're Like you shouldn't have said anything. But this like this is was good. all for not. It's, but you would still be living <laughs> Welcome to the your... podcast. You would still... <laughs> all, welcome we'll be to right the podcast. Back. All for nothing. Wow. I'm going to lean yeah. on Jamie a little bit, the new voice in the room. So... Okay. You... You're feeling you don't remember it. It wouldn't have offended you at the time. You just know, Courtney, this is water under the bridge. You're good friends. And it's for nothing. It's all fine. Yeah, I just I can imagine the conversation, but I don't know if it's really a memory or if it's just I know Courtney's sense of humor. Yeah. And so it doesn't surprise me that she said that. Yeah. But but that's that's also why I love her because she would say something like that. Jamie, you, 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 see, you seem like a great person. Can I ask you a quick pitch? Uh, what if she said sincerely, <laughs> you know, your photographs are beautiful. What's um, your problem? Maybe one day when my mother dies, I, I really hope I get the butthole. And offers you a then bottle of wine. she would have been really confused because she didn't remember it happening. <laughs> That's correct. Do you drink wine, Jamie? <laughs> Jamie, do you drink? I don't. I'm feeling like there I you go. Could. Yeah. I was right on so many. Oh, I got to say so many points. Natalie, you were right. I would say our final advice to you, Courtney, now is you owe Jamie a really nice dinner for being part okay. of this journey with you. So I think yes. you yes. two ladies, my advice in closing is you guys should go out. It is on Courtney, Jamie, your favorite restaurant. And you guys have a big laugh together. <laughs> I think we should get some pork butt. Yeah, I do. Get yeah, some you pork, get some butt. pork butt. Pork butt is perfect. <laughs> 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 <laughs>